Hey everyone, welcome to the presentation. You know, in every organization's life cycle, there comes a point when management wants to take their grant seeking efforts to the next level. That usually involves creating a formal grants office, even if it's just one new employee, and becoming more aggressive at going after federal grants. You know, they may have had some success going after smaller grants from private or state or county sources, and now they want to advance to the big leagues with federal funding. Cool. If your organization is in that situation, this presentation will give you some tips on how to open a grants department and show you some of the pitfalls to avoid. In a nutshell, here are the three keys to success. Preparation, <clears throat> excuse me, expectations, and patience. Now let's go through each of them. Preparation. First and foremost, educate yourself and your organization's leadership on grants, especially if you're new to grants in general, but most importantly, if you're new to federal grants. It's extremely important for you to understand how the federal grants process works. A thorough understanding of how long it takes to apply for grants, how long it takes to receive funding, and how involved it is to manage them. Will, this will all help structure your new grants department. And this knowledge will also help you select a qualified department manager. Now, also, when you have a solid foundation on the grants process, you'll be able to move to the second element. Here's where a lot of organizations get into trouble. They set lofty expectations and goals for their grants, uh, their grants department that are just wildly unrealistic. Grants, well, grants, they just, they, just, they don't, excuse me, <laughs> you know, they don't magically appear overnight. Uh, from when they open for applications, to when a decision is made by the funders, to when the funds are available, you know, this is a multi-month process. Uh, the application period, you know, might be a one to two months long. That's when you're preparing your proposal before you submit it uh, at deadline. Could be another six to seven months before uh, the funding agency makes a decision, assuming there isn't a delay, which there often is. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you're successful, another month or two might pass before you can actually access the funds and start your project. You know, it's possible you're looking at a year or more from the time you start writing your proposal to when you receive the funds. <clears throat> Next, grants come in cycles. And you can figure out those cycles by searching uh, the grants.gov database. Just, you know, if you go back a few years, that'll give you a really good idea for when uh, different grants will be released uh, by department, whether it's, say, the uh, Department of Education or Justice or Transportation or so on. You know, it won't be perfect, of course, but uh, you'll at least be able to put together a simple planning calendar. You know, this way you'll know which grants will uh, will likely be released within, say, the next 30 to 60 days within the next six months, and then beyond that. And, and finally, you know, not, not every grant is a good fit for your organization. Uh, sometimes the best move is to pass on a grant and wait for a better opportunity. Like I said, you know, in previous presentations, knowing when to say no is as important as knowing when to say go. Not everything goes as planned. You know, when you start a grants office, your natural 
reaction is to be optimistic and to think, hey, we're going to get millions. Well, slow down just a little bit. You know, chances are you'll eventually get to millions, but that takes time. You know, it can take uh, some organizations years to reach a point where they're bringing in millions of grant dollars per year. You know, millions of dollars in grants per year takes a certain level of sophistication and organizational maturity. And you just, you can't get there overnight uh, when you're, when you're just starting out. So when you're at square one, you need to create realistic expectations or realistic annual targets. So for example, maybe you'll say, hey, look, in the first year, we want to bring in 200,000, maybe 500,000 in year two, 750,000 in year three, and then 1 million in years four and beyond. You know, get some momentum going, you know, thinking you're going to receive millions within that first year is just setting yourself up for disappointment. Grants, grants just don't work that way. And clear expectations, you know, if you hire someone to manage your new grants office, make the expectations very clear from the beginning and give your person a chance to voice any concerns, but most importantly, give them a chance to be successful. You know, you can't start out by telling them to only go after large grants and then months later tell them, okay, look, you know, scrap that, forget just going after large grants, go after anything and everything, regardless of dollar amount. And then finally, just drop on them that you expect them to raise millions of dollars in the first year, you know, hurry up, go. You know, that's not fair to the employee and it's not fair to your organization. You know, once reality smacks down your unrealistic expectations, everyone will, will be disappointed. It's just, it's a lose-lose proposition. So manage your expectations and then, yes, be patient. Now it's, um, that's a lot easier said than done, but it's critically important. Trust. Trust the process. If you pick the right opportunities and capitalize on your strengths, you'll be successful in the long run. But it takes a focused approach, not, you know, a random shotgun, uh, shotgun strategy where you just shoot at anything. You can't go from zero to 100 miles an hour in one second. It takes time to get a new grant development program off the ground and flying smoothly. Again, patience. You got to be flexible with the timeline. You can't force timelines. Grants, whether they're public or private, they operate on their own schedules. Once you apply, again, it might be months until you hear... Uh, until you hear the results. You know, there's nothing you can do about that. Same regarding uh, when grants will become available from, from the funders. I mean, you can kind of get an, a general idea about when they'll be released, but you don't know. Grants are released uh, on their own schedule. Sometimes it has to do with the department. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Sometimes it has to do with, with Congress and the appropriations process. You know, again, it just, you, that's not under your control. Foundations and government agencies, they do their own thing. If you expect to receive millions, you're going to need to focus on the, the public sector, state and federal funders, and you need to adjust or at least be flexible with their timelines and their schedules. And, you know, just and to follow up on that, you know, the, the need to focus on those those public funders, <clears throat> you can't say, well, all right, when we're not going after public grants, we'll we'll go after private grants. I think I said that right. When we're not going after public, we'll go after private. Yeah, 
Now, that's a nice theory, but it's not reality. Um, you know, some, some public grants take, you know, six months to nine months to a year to actually put together if they're, you know, the really big uh, projects. But that aside, you know, millions of dollars, that doesn't come from piecing together little five and $10,000 grants. I mean, most foundation grants are relatively small and uh, large private foundation grants, like say from the, the California Endowment or the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the Kellogg Foundation, you know, those are rare. Uh, and quite frankly, the case could be made that those take even more effort than going after government grants because there's there's a really there's a long period uh, of relationship building with foundations before you can even apply with any reasonable chance of success i mean if you want uh, if you want millions of dollars in grants the fastest way to get there is with the 200 500 and 750 thousand dollar grants from public agencies, but that takes focus. <clears throat> Excuse me, that takes focus, discipline, and patience. When you start from square one, it's going to take at least eighteen to thirty-six months to get there, and that's just the way it is. Now, I'm not saying don't go after the smaller grants. They're, 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 I mean, they're, they're fantastic. There's nothing wrong with them. But give them to staff uh, outside of the grants office because usually they don't, they don't require nearly as much work and as much time. So someone like a department manager or a, a, a program director should be able to handle those. If the grants office is weighed down by smaller grants, they can't focus on the larger opportunities that will push your organization to the next level. So to recap, three keys to success, preparation, expectation, and patience. If you follow these three, these three simple rules, your new grants office will be successful in the long run. And I truly hope that it is. Well, that's all I have. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please email me through my website or reach out on social media. I am here to help in any way that I can. If you found this useful, like it or give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment. I always love feedback. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future presentations. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.